All right, scholars, now it's time to, for us to read our next story for our unit. As we read, I want you to think about what is the main idea. So when I'm asking you to find out what the main idea is, what, do, what am I talking about? Right, the topic of the story, what is it mostly talking about? So our story that you're going to read and listen to is feathers, not just for flying. So again, I want you to think about what other jobs do birds use their feathers for? And as you can see on the cover, we already have so many different feathers and how they look. Let's get started. Birds and feathers go together like trees and leaves like stars in the sky. All birds have feathers, but no other animals do. Most birds have thousands of feathers, but those feathers aren't all the same. That's because feathers have so many different jobs to do. And as you can see, we have all these different feathers on the page. Feathers can warm like a blanket. On cold, damp days, a blue jay stays warm by fl fluffing up its feathers and trapping a layer of warm air next to its skin. Or cushion like a pillow. A female wood duck lines her nest with feathers she plucks from her own body. These feathers cushion the duck's eggs and keep them warm. So feathers can also act like a cushion or a pillow. Feathers can shade out the sun like an umbrella. As a hungry tricolored heron wades through the water in search of food, it raises its wings high over its head. The feathers block out reflections from the sky and shade the water. This makes it easier to spot tasty fish and frogs. So they also use it to cover them for shade, like an umbrella. Or protect skin like sunscreen. On sunny summer afternoons, red-tailed hawks spend hours soaring through the sky in search of prey. Their thick feathers protect their delicate skin from the sun's harmful rays. So it also protects their skin. Feathers can soak up water like a sponge or clean up messes like a scrub brush. Feathers can distract attackers like a bullfighter's cape or hide a bird from predators like camouflage clothing. So they can use it for hiding. Let's see what else we have. Feathers can make high pitched sounds like a whistle. So they use feathers to also make their sounds. Or attract attention like fancy jewelry. And we talked about that in our last book. Feathers can dig holes like a backhoe or carry building supplies like a forklift. So they use feathers to either dig or to carry things. Feathers can help birds float like a life jet. Or plunge downward like a fishing sinker. Feathers can glide like a sled or sprint across the snow like snowshoes. But most of all, feathers can give birds the lift they need to race across the sky. And here's different kinds of feathers that we'll talk about later on. So each part of the bird has these different feathers on it. 
great job listening. So what was the main idea of feathers not just for flying? What did they talk about in our story? They did have a lot of information about feathers, but what specifically did they talk about with the feathers? Right, the different things that feathers are used for, that birds can use their feathers for. Now I want you to think, do you remember any of the things that it said in our story that they use their feathers for? Right, they use it to keep warm. What else? Right, to hide or camouflage themselves. Right, they all use them to help them uh, fly. We know that one. And what's one more? Right, they use them to help them with their swimming as well. Awesome job with listening. Now I need you to remember some of these jobs because you're gonna need it later on.